1425 Southeast 12th Terrace. That is Del Prado stoplight right there. The homes on this side of the canal here are all on the water Gulf access. So as I pulled up here, the only thing I'm seeing is age of roof. So it's going to need to be replaced pretty quickly. I'm not seeing any hurricane protection and the windows are definitely not hurricane windows. Got some leaky gutters, a little bit of that type of maintenance. Um, nice plank flooring, neutral colors, the grays and beiges. Uh, so you walk in, have a little entry. This is the hallway into the kitchen, main living area. Traditional L floor plan. Um, it does have a little vaulted ceiling here to give you some height. Those are three sliders that open up and do pocket out to the lanai. They've just painted the wood cabinets. So these are original wood cabinets. Open this up with a little bar here. Pretty nice space. And then there's another little nook back here. Again, for another table, they've got like as a seating area. This is a slider out to the lanai and pool area. And then this slider is an ever separate screened in area that's strictly for the master. There's a slider from the master and the master bathroom. So it's a little private separate area, which is unique. This is not um, a cookie cutter, typical Florida home. It was built in 88. It's got stainless appliances. They've got a little pantry here. Looking back to the front door, this is the garage. They've got a closet here. And laundry is in the garage. Looks like it's a hurricane rated garage door. Here's the master. This is wood flooring laminate type flooring. Those sliders are out to that little separate screened in area. It's got big pieces of furniture here. So you can see the size of the furniture and what the size of the room is. So they have uh, no door here on this opening. So you could do a barn door, double vanities, one big closet to share. They did tile up the walls and the flooring. It's a little different flooring um, and then that's the door out the glass block for your shower which they did do it nicely with a rain head got the valves here a handheld so that was remodeled nicely and just a little door to shut off the water closet area from the vanity area for the privacy aspect We'll do the other two guest bedrooms and then we'll go outside. Again, the shower and bathroom has been remodeled similar to the other, the same tile, uh, the glass block to put the valve here, did a nice big walk-in shower. This is bigger than just converting the tub. Definitely bigger than just converting the tub. They did make this a little larger. And a linen closet, the two guest bedrooms have got the same flooring as the master. Not huge bedrooms, there is some closet organization there, but this is a pretty standard. That's a futon. This has uh, probably a full size bed, it might be a queen. Um, it is coming furnished, whether or not you like the furnishings, they are offering it furnished. Looks like it's been set, maybe uh, it is staged, obviously, uh, but this is. Uh, Possibly had been a vacation rental. So outside here, you've got, like I said, these are the pocket doors from the living area. Nice outdoor kitchen. It's got the wet sink, refridge, grill, bar area. This is really nice. Um, a little seating area out here around the big tree. It's a big oak tree, fenced yard. Cool surface looks pretty decent. Nice sunning area under the cage. And then this is the separate screened area. 
that has the master bathroom sliders out. So the yard's done really nice, pretty low maintenance. And like I said, needs a new roof and I believe it's priced accordingly. They're wood. Actually, they're laminate. They painted laminate? Hmm. This is your drawers. Interesting. Okay. Um, there must be some special that you can put on and paint laminate. Because they are not wood. Interesting. We need to check the age of the AC as well. Not in a flood zone. 